All right, in today's video, we're gonna talk about changing angles with our kicks. Now, we're gonna start first with our front kick. One of the basic strikes we learned, but we gotta practice. So I'm gonna go rear front kick. I put my ball of my foot on the target. Then from here, we're gonna go front kick to the head. Boom, I snap. Now, the key to this front kick to the head, I need this angle here, because it's a realistic one you're gonna hit. And you notice I point my toes, okay? So we go rear front kick to the body, and then I go, boom, rear front kick. Then I could either switch my stance or throw the same from the left side. But bring my back foot in, that gives me power, or I can do it from a southpaw, okay? Coming back, boom, here, and then bang. Okay, up to you how you wanna do the lead side, all right? Round one, front kicks. Body sets up the front kick to the head. Okay, using that ball of the foot, using some angle level feint, feint low, go high, okay? So when you do this, I wanna see a snap. Okay, snap in return, feints. Try to move around a little bit, okay? Now, as you start getting more comfortable, I want you to start putting probes out, feints with the hands, and get the hands moving before, okay? The hands moving will set the front kick up. Okay, move around, use your feints, jab, feint, move, punches, bang, okay? Hide the way you're gonna use your legs, okay? So you can see someone tall like Patrick, this is the style we wanna use with them, using these long front kicks. Now, front kicks are one of the first weapons you learn. Some of the best knockouts we've seen in all of combat sports have come from this front kick. So very important skill defensively, but can be used more offensively, okay? Keep mixing it up, both legs move around, get the hands, the feints, to set up these angled front kicks to start. Good, about 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, really stab with that ball of the foot. Try not to push, more of a stabbing motion. Okay, boom, snap. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, now we're gonna move to our right leg, okay? So we have three angled kicks. We got 45 kicks, round kicks, and head kicks. Now, just for experience, I want you, everybody here using those probes. When I throw my 45, it's up. This is going underneath the elbow. Then I'm gonna go step out with a pivot. That gives me my round kick. Then the third one, I'm gonna veer offline and throw my head kick. So I've got three different angles. I have a 45, I have a round horizontal, and then I have a head kick changing the angles, okay? So we're just gonna do the right leg on this round here just to get this reference. Now, put different punches together, please. Ready, go. So you can throw your jab, maybe one, two, I wanna see different hand setups before you kick. Now, even though the pad's not there, when I say put punches out, I don't wanna see little ones like this. Show me some snapping. Even though I'm probably snap, 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 boom, snap, 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 boom, okay? I want snapping punches that are realistic. None of these, that's not doing nothing. No one's gonna bite on those feints. They're not realistic. This is supposed to keep somebody off you, okay? Using the feints here, and then boom, Whip your kick on that angle, okay? The 45, someone's here like this, boom, underneath. As Soon as you hit underneath, they're gonna put their elbow down. You smack the round kick, boom, they're gonna have to block it. Then you take it to the head for the finish. Now, the main difference between this 45 and the round kick is one, my pivot. When I 45, I don't need to pivot, right? So my kick is coming on this 45 degree angle. I get up on my calf, okay? but I don't need to pivot. When I throw that round kick, I'm gonna step here. Now I create a pivot, okay? Now with the head kick, you can get creative. If those who are even more flexible in the hip, that head kick could even be a question mark kick. Boom, so now you're changing the angle of the kick, right? We have a 45, we have a round, and we have a cut down, right? We have a, a, a body, an arm, and a head, so levels, angles, and then if you add the different setup punches, you can really hide those kicks very well, okay? And 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, last one here with the left kick, same concept. Now when you do this, you can do it from a switch, 
more experienced people can mix it both, okay? So I'm gonna use my hands. Now the problem is we're staying too much here. I wanna get offline, so here I go 45, I dip my head. Then I go horizontal here, and then I can go head kick. Now I can use any switch I want. Sometimes I don't switch at all, boom. Sometimes I switch. Sometimes I'll take a walk step, bang. All three different steps to get to it. Now if you're advanced, I like to see it like this. Watch, I'll go here, 45. I'll go around here, and then I switch, and then I'll go to my opposite stand. Then I'll do the same thing from here, 45. Round kick here, boom, head kick, okay? You can play both stances or stay on one side to get it better, okay? Last round here, let's pick it up. Remember, good snapping punches to set them up. Snap, 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 okay? And different rhythms in those punches as well, okay? When I mean my different rhythms, don't always go one kick. One, two, sometimes one, boom, boom, boom. Changing the rhythm, the tempo, and taking away from not always traditional combinations. So if I'm gonna throw my left kick, it's not always one, two, or two. Sometimes it's jab into it. One, two, hook, bang into it. Try to diversify your combinations, and that'll help you get to your target better. All right, let's go, finish strong. Last minute here. Different switches to it, different angles, Different styles, let's get it. Good calf work, good distance management. And remember, a good exit. You have to be able to exit strong and safely. Really whip those legs. Last 25 seconds, good. Let those hands move, set them up. Don't be so stiff upstairs. Use your feints, use those straights, right? Good punches is gonna help you set up a good kick. And make sure we get off center line, right? Good habits of getting off center line, enter exiting properly, good setups, nice feints, right? Kick fighting has to do a lot with your hands, right? You gotta be able to set up your kicks well. Last 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and time. Switch pads.